Hi folks, welcome to the Brotherhood of the Arrow and Sword channel. I'm Sir Brian, and it's a hot one today. You know, this kind of reminds me of an event we did back in 2018, the Abadia Mar Festival at Hammond Castle. Beautiful location. The problem was it was 110 degrees that weekend, and that's in Fahrenheit. Now, if we're looking at Celsius, it's about 43.3 degrees in Celsius. As you can imagine, that's hard to do in armor. So we ended up having to cut our fight show short, but thankfully Gareth, ever consummate presenter that he is, jumped up and did an impromptu armor presentation while we were all still in kit. Here is some of the best video we got from that presentation. I hope you enjoy it. Gotta ready. watch that sailboat to hear you. Salute! Lay on! Oh, 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 get away from me! No! yelling at him to get away is because he didn't want to get pulled down onto the ground. Now he the knew problem what he was with doing almost almost every culture has some form of armor or shield made out of all kinds of different materials. So what you're used to seeing the stereotypical knight would be Sir Brian. As everyone points at me, thank you. <laughs> like I'm not self conscious. Okay. So that type of armor, this is plate and mail, not not chain mail. That's a D&D term. It's mail. Mail yes. means chain. And if it says plate mail, it means it's plate and mail. Right. Which is like what, what I'm wearing. He's wearing. <laughs> what I'm wearing is called lamellar, and it kind of also looks like another type of armor called scale armor, which looks like dragon scales or lizard scales, right? The difference is, is those scales you can lift up. So if I had a knife, or he had a knife, he could come up right underneath and get me pretty good. This stuff allows a lot of the same flexibility of scale, but it's much more difficult to do that. It's also very easy to fix. So if one of these things break, I just undo the, the, the well, silk normally, or leather, in this case, paracord, period. <laughs> and I undo that and I just tie some new ones. But as you can see, it's hard for him to get in anyway. And this one also, you notice that the lames are pointing up. Because this person, the one, the armor that it's based off, was probably on top of a horse. So things are coming up. So it's gonna protect me better. <laughs> Still too tall. So, um, and this type of armor is used from like, uh, I mean, it's used all over the world, but it was big in the Middle East, over into the Far East. This particular kit is based off of Mongolian armor, or Chinese armor, or Korean armor, and I say all three because they all kind of used it. We have uh, a question, Gareth. Yes. Is that armor cooler than the plate armor? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a personal. Uh, Underneath yeah. their armor, they have padded jackets in which a lot of the armor gets attached to and for padding. So not only do they have the heat from the leather or from the, the metal, they have these very thick padded coats underneath. So they are basically wearing a winter coat. Then you put some aluminum foil on top and stick them in the sun. 30 minutes, they're cooked right oh, through. Yeah. Like a little baked potato. <laughs> so yeah, that's my armor. All right. Are we doing any more battles or are we completely fried? I think we can talk a little bit more about 